Hi everybody, I'd like to delve into some more detail about BIA ALCL so that you can hear it from the horse's mouth or as close to the horse's something or other as you can get. And I want to read a little bit directly from um, the, the data out of the FDA and ASPS and ASAPs. And so what is BIA ALCL? If I'm looking down, I want to get it just the way that you need to hear it, okay? BIA ALCL or breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma is a rare spectrum of disease that can range from indolent, slow growing, accumulation of fluid around the breast or seroma to a potentially metastatic lymphoma, especially when there are delays in diagnosis. So in other words, one breast starts to get a little bit larger and a patient decides to ignore this for years and years, that person's at more risk, more risk of having a worse process than someone that says, hey, there's something different, maybe I should do something. All right, moving on, BIA ALCL is not, is not, a cancer of the breast tissue itself. We believe it is related to the surface texturing of textured implants. Okay, it's not related to the fill material, it's related to the shell itself, and it's related to texturing to the best of our medical knowledge, all right? It is highly treatable with high cure rates when caught early, all right? The disease was first reported about 20 years ago, and to date, there's maybe three to 5,000, depending on which study you read, three to 5,000 total cases over the last 20 years of BIA ALCL. And to put things in perspective, in the last few years, in the United States alone, there's been roughly 400,000 breast augmentations, about 100,000 for reconstructive purposes, and another 300,000 for aesthetic or cosmetic purposes. So three to 5,000 over the last 20 years versus 400,000 in the last year alone is a really rare condition. Moving on, the FDA, the FDA states that the risk ranges between um, you know, roughly one in 30,000, again, uh, across all takers, right? It appears to uh, show up exclusively in women with textured implants. I'll say it again, BIA ALCL appears to show up in women with textured implants. To date, there has not been a single case of BIA ALCL proven to be associated with smooth surfaced or smooth shelled implants, all right? It appears to be purely related to the surface of the implant and not to what it's filled with. So saline versus silicone is not a safety issue when it comes to BIA-ALCL, but rather smooth versus textured, that's an important distinction, all right? The number one thing, if you suspect a problem and you have textured implants or implants in general, is if there's a change. You've had your implants for quite some time, Typically, on average, this appears about eight years after you've had your implants. But whether it's eight years or eight months or 18 years, if all of a sudden one side is different than the other, or one side hurts you or one side seems more swollen, please reach out to your plastic surgeon and ask for advice as to what to do. That's probably the number one safest thing you could do, right? All right, moving on a little bit. How do we diagnose B-I-A-L-C-L. Well, the number one way is if there's fluid around the implant, which remember is the predominant presenting sign, we go and we sample some of that fluid and we send it for some special testing and that gives us an idea as to what is happening and what to do. Now, a brief word about patients that have textured implants. Right now, none of the societies nor the FDA is recommending that women with textured implants should run and do anything to change that. So if you have a textured implant and you're doing fine with it, right now, ASPS, ASAPs, and the FDA all say leave well enough alone, okay? Of course, monitor for change. That said, if you have a textured implant and you are concerned by all means, reach out to your plastic surgeon or call our office and we will try to address as many questions as we can in terms of what to do. 
I hope this video was helpful. I hope it puts a little bit of peace of mind for those patients that have breast implants and for those patients that are considering breast implants. Breast augmentation surgery with a reputable company and a reputable surgeon and smooth implants remains an incredibly safe operation with good data, long-term data. To learn more, call us at the office at Baumholtz Plastic Surgery, 210-920-2390. Until then, be well.